Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. I will pull oracles at the end, give you some more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. Time is also elusive. We are all on different timelines. This could have already happened for you. This may be happening now. This could definitely be more future focused. All right, Taurus, a very quiet shuffle this week. What do we have for Taurus, please? Nine of Cups, first card out. Strongest energy. Nine of Cups, being very happy with where one is. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups is my living your best life card. Someone that is very confident, um, very um, comfortable. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. We'll be dealing with an Aries for sure. We have the Eight of Wands. Wow. Movement, communication, clarity, wish fulfillment. Lots going on here. Taurus, there you are. Major Arcana, Hierophant. So there is definitely something that is either being committed to or um, Hierophant can be a sense of tradition. Nine of Swords, final card out. So we have Ten of Swords with the Ace and the Nine, completion. Some sort of cycle is definitely ending. There is a moving forward to a more committed, more solid, more loyal, more honorable sort of um, role that someone is stepping into here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy could also be important to you. Things are about to speed up quite definitely. And this is something you've manifested. Something you have been manifesting for a while even. Major Arcana, the Temperance card here. Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius time frame could also be important. That is November. Something you have been manifesting and trying to sort of create for yourself here. That has been taking a very long time. The Temperance tells me it's something you've had to be patient for co-creation with this magician and this temperance definitely co-creation you played your part the divine played its part looks like it's finally getting ready to happen though looks like it's getting ready to happen things are starting to get moving here with the eight of wands and the knight of swords this is very much movement some of you quite literally be moving residents could be moving also for some sort of uh, job if you are waiting for some sort of um answer definitely could be getting a yes here with the ace of swords but whatever this yes is it's going to require a definite amount of commitment uh, a sense of um dedication but it's what you wish for it's definitely what you've been wishing for it's what you've been trying to manifest it's definitely the reality you've been trying to plug into and that's you right there so i mean it, it is about you it's not about anybody else some of you are definitely receiving some sort of phone call or communication or even an email with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. That's definitely um, some sort of communicating here that's going to put you right where you've been trying to sort of be. And there's a lot of stress and anxiety around this, or there has been. But I think that's finally able to come to an end once this sort of um, news or phone call or offer conversation happens. Whatever worry that you had... You're finally able to sort of release it. Also could be someone that is connected to you that has been trying to create some sort of change in their life for a very long time. And I think the signs of it manifesting are finally going to start sort of showing up. <clears throat> Eight of Cups, Hangman, Page of Pentacles. So if this is work, there's definitely opportunities for work coming in, whether you see it or not. The Eight of Cups signifies finally being able to sort of release all sort of um, baggage that has maybe been accumulated. This is like definitely, um, what's the word? Like shifting to a higher timeline, it's almost giving. But there's definitely shifting a timeline, going from one sort of reality to another. But it's because you have sacrificed. <clears throat> this is all because of sacrifice. This is all because of patience. This is all because of um, perseverance. Things have been very stagnant for a while. Not moving clearly as fast as you'd like them to, but that's about to change. You also have two eights here. Eight eight could be a synchronicity that you may be seeing. I do have eight eight eight, so definitely could be a synchronicity that you're seeing. 
and the page of cups the page of wands yeah all the new things all these pages all the new things all the opportunities are kind of going to sh all show up at once the passionate ones the money potentials the you know the the the, the emotional ones another storyline that i'm getting here definitely someone that you could be uh could be pertaining to some sort of connection that you've already sort of put behind you and it might not be this person um might reappear but the twist is that, that, that there is actually going to be real opportunity real potential i think you're going to be able to see that so you're going to have a decision to make because if this is an old situation that you've already sort of made a decision on there's a new decision to make on it there's a new perspective because it looks like someone has definitely been sort of um stressed at the fact that they have not been in contact or communication with you i see you're good at either way though with the nine of cups being your first card out whether you accept the opportunity or not i think you're good anyway when it comes to a relationship but you guys are about to be in a very very um total different timeline from whatever sort of reality you're experiencing now which is what the ten of swords is generally about the end to reality as you know it three of swords a reality of pain loss this is also pertaining to those of you where um you have walked away from somebody this is the reality they're trying to change because their current reality is lost you are no longer in their circle in their you know that's what they're trying to sort of fix because i do see the six of swords here which is all about moving on moving forward getting past the sort of uh speed bumps you know queen of wands star card healing and wish fulfillment so whatever it is you've sort of been sort of you've been sort of trying to create for yourself whether it's financial stability whether it's partnership the possibility for it is going to hit you all at once when it rains of course it's happening but because you were patient only because you were patient, there's opportunity to really sort of get what it is you have been desiring. Things are going to start speeding up. And it is about you because we do have that uh, temperance, that, um, what do you call it? The higher front. Things are about to speed up. It's going to become very clear that whatever it is that you have been sort of trying to create is happening. Your reality is shifting, so to speak. Guidance, and I do get by Sag season guidance, please, because we have more Sag here. Pisces, Aries, guidance, please, for Taurus. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, yeah, and separation. So for those of you where this is a connection, this is definitely a situation that at one point you you saw red flags and you may be tempted to sort of um put this person in that same category could even be a friend this is not only romantic guys you and a friend could have definitely not seen eye to eye so when they come back you are going to be tempted to sort of put that to put them in the same category but this is saying take them as they are there because there has been change or at least someone is willing to learn here with all this page energy someone is definitely willing to learn separation yeah someone you have not been on the on the on the talking terms with guidance please for Taurus. and the communication is coming directly towards you it's almost giving like when you least expect it coincidentally this flipped over well, there be they'll be back expect to hear from them soon so there's that Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We do have fire signs here. So some of you, that is definitely significant. We're going to take that one. No, at the bottom of the deck, it's not the right time. Some of you absolutely will be not. If it is a person, you won't be indulging. Okay. I didn't please for Taurus. It also could have been the fact that it wasn't the right time at that time. Looks like the time is about to be right now, though. Guidance, please. Some of you, it's a job that wasn't, um, you know, ready for you to be a part of yet. Looks like another offer might be coming back around. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, that's what's really this is about. Because I do get there's a situation for some of you. There's a situation that you've already dealt with. You've already made a judgment on. 
and it's different. <clears throat> and you're gonna be very tempted to sort of um, assume the same thing. But this is saying, if you look clearly, if you be honest with yourself, it's not. The situation, the person, the environment, it's totally different. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Virgo in particular. What am I missing? One of these gardens, please. For Taurus. Thank you. Integrating the ego. That's also what this emperor is about. It says everything is for me, not against me. So this is a lesson for somebody here that has uh, the tendency to just assume the worst is also the vibe that I'm getting. With the pay attention to the red flags and let go of control issues, someone's defense mechanism is assuming the worst. So for some of you, you've, are, you've made a judgment on something or somebody that wasn't accurate. That's also a storyline I'm getting here. You made a false judgment on someone because you didn't have the whole story. Your assumptions. Because I also have the Nine of Swords, which is all about, you know, overthinking, you know, creating scenarios, worst case situations. I think the truth, you're going to find out the truth. Or the opportunity for the truth is there. Guidance, please. Even if it's for a job, you could have applied for a job and because you didn't hear back on time or in your time frame, you assume the worst. This is Moth Spirit. Surrender now. And Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. So it's time to go beyond the surface. It's time to go deep. No doubt. I think that's everything. Yep, that is your reading, Taurus. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.